Hey yo, what's going on guys, your boy here, and today we're going to be looking at the Lexus LFA inside of Swole Southwest, Florida. This car is a supercar right here, and it looks very, very nice. We're going to go into the dealership, check out its price and everything about it in a second. Now, before we do, I want you guys to know that I do get a Roblox group with a Roblox merch. I got a Discord group you can join, and I got some social. You can follow all the links on the description below. Also, my name is Hypod, do car reviews, car things, all the car stuff. If you guys do like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification every time I upload a new video. But yeah. Why don't we get into reviewing this car? So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go check out its price. And after that, we're going to go to its top speed, its braking, its turning. And then we're going to come back to the dealership, upgrade its car to the max. And then we'll do all those tests one more time. So why don't we get into the dealership here where we will see the supercar section. And then we will find, no, actually, yeah, the supercar section where we will find this car. Right here, $690,500. So it's very, very, very expensive. But is it? very 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 worth its price that didn't sound right but i mean whatever it is fine right but yeah looking at the car i mean it is a pretty nice looking car in the back it looks pretty mean pretty aggressive but it sounds insanely good so that's what we're going to look at when we get into this car so let's turn this car on and listen to this startup car has a quiet startup but it's such a good startup in real life and it should have done that in this game but it's really quiet when do we do a drive test there we go, we got the nice sounding car now. The blinkers, blinkers look like that right there, and blinkers look like the two dashes right here. And do we got any side blinkers? No, we don't. Let's turn the headlights on. Headlights are these circles right here, and then the line going across right there. But now that it started raining, we kind of have to do this review in the time that it doesn't take for it to rain. But also, this car is insanely quick. I didn't even need to get across the parking lot because we're now going a million miles an hour in about four seconds. Also, the wing comes up, which is pretty, pretty cool. We didn't even turn traction control off either, so we're gonna turn traction control off, reverse the car into the invisible barrier. Then we're gonna send it all the way down to the end of the road, do the brake test, do the turn test, upgrade the car, and see if it does any better. So, back the car up right there. Neutral lining, three, two, one, go. Off the line, we're spinning because it's random, but we're good. We're gonna turn traction control back on because I don't wanna die car is really loud when it comes to well driving and it goes 200 in about maybe four seconds so the car has the one of the fastest accelerations in the game we're going 220 now braking starting now 220 to zero braking is very good i didn't even need to keep going on that turn on uh, top speed test but 220 very very good car i mean i don't even I, I, did i upgrade this car i don't even remember but this car right now stands at a very good 200 miles an hour acceleration and it just overall sounds good drives good so far let's do a turn test though okay turning is very very good in this car as well so it's top speed it's turning it's braking everything about this car so far is doing really really good now i'm not sure if i upgraded this car because if i did that i'd be very upset because i found this in my inventory and i said wow i didn't even review this car yet but let's see, let's go into the dealership, see if we can upgrade this car or just un-upgrade the car. Let's see here, customize. Let's check out its paints first though, red, blue, white, black, and yellow. Let's go here to performance where we hopefully didn't upgrade the car. We did upgrade the car. So this car, I did the test upgraded, but you can only imagine that it did as good, not upgraded. Now, I probably should do the stock version of this car, but for the sake of this video, we'll actually just do it. Yeah, we'll just... I don't I'm gonna have to spend so much money to get all the mods back, but it's whatever it's for you guys So let's do the stock brakes. Let's do the way all the way back to normal Let's do the tires all the way back to normal. Let's send the transmission back to normal So the first test was the upgraded test because I'm bad and I forgot that I am not Good and I forgot that this car had upgrades on it because I did that what we did do now is we're going to test up this car without upgrades. So I'm pretty sure I took off all the upgrades on this car. Now we're going to see how this car does without it. So let's go all the way back down here to the end and see how it goes. So back up here. Then we'll go back up a little bit. And we're going to see its normal test now without any upgrades. My apologies, guys. I did it backwards this time. It's not backwards today, but top speed test in 3, 2, 1, go. Off the line, we're still spinning tires, we're still going 60, 70, 80, still has insane acceleration. I mean, this car has probably still one of the better accelerations of the game. I mean, we're going 150 past that line. The average speed for this line coming up right here is 130 to 140. We're going 180, cool we're close to, and the car still handles it very, very well. Now, its top speed is around 200 here. We're going to do the brake test coming up at the next signal light there. 200 seems to be where we're kind of topping out at. 
upgrading the car gave me 20 more miles per hour and it gave me a little bit better braking um turning let's go to do the turn test i mean i'm going to only imagine that the car turns the exact same as before but instead of going all the way down to the end of the road where i typically do it we're going to do a turn test starting over this way this time i'm going to change things up a little bit go here and we'll do this turn right here back end does slide out just a little bit sometimes it's fine though i mean it's really really manageable but i'm trying to keep it you know in a little bit of a race mode this car is still very very good but now um what do you guys think about this car I did the upgraded version of the test uh, car first because I'm not very smart and I forgot that I upgraded the car. And then I did the normal test of the car. This car is still overall, without upgrades, is very, very good. But what do you guys think about this car? Leave in the comments below. I definitely think you should buy the M3 though because it still goes 220 but not as fast as this. But still, what do you guys think about this car? Leave in the comments below and uh, I will catch you guys in uh, tomorrow's video or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.